Matt, we finally break into it. You've talked about it a little bit already. 100 points are on the line for the winner. And what these races mean all of a sudden is you win it, you're in for sure. You're second, you're in it for sure. So these are big races. We're going to start out this weekend, Saturday, down in NOLA, down at Fairgrounds for the Louisiana Derby. Matt, the top three from the Risen Star. The Risen Star was a pretty exciting race. Instilled regard, finished fourth as the favorite, but the top three that beat them are all back here for a pretty wide open edition of the Louisiana Derby. Yeah, it's kind of what tends to happen on this Louisiana Derby trail. They, they keep coming back there, but... As we remember from the Risen Star, we mentioned it earlier, uh, Bravazo won the Risen Star, and, and uh, he had to battle in there. It was not easy. He had to battle uh, Snapper Sinclair, who was uh, very impressive running on the front end, and I think surprised a lot of us the way he was able to hang on in such a determined way uh, down the stretch. I think we expected Bravazo uh, as as the race developed, it looked like he was going to go right by, but uh, Snapper Sinclair uh, fought every step of the way in there. Bravazo's already in the Derby with his 54 points. Snapper Sinclair has got 22. Interesting thing about Snapper Sinclair is that they are making a rider change. They are going to get Jose Ortiz up there. And, hey, Brian, there aren't many... Uh, jockeys that are better on the front end getting the best out of a horse than Jose Ortiz. So uh, I like that rider switch there by Asmussen. Yeah, Jose Ortiz certainly uh, certainly has been getting it done the last couple of years. And, and I am still not on the Snapper Sinclair bandwagon, even though I saw him win a turf stake at Kentucky Downs last year. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, 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 w he gave everything but the kitchen sink, uh, through, uh, Bravazo in the Risen Star. And it was a great race. Snapper Sinclair obviously is not to be taken lightly. Interesting jockey switches, as you, as you mentioned, Matt, I think Bravazo might be one that gets better, moves forward. And I think the third place horse, Noble Indy, who probably will get bet a lot as a Todd Pletcher trainee, uh, also could move forward. Noble Indy lightly raced. Lightly raised Pletcher. Uh, he was third, and it wasn't a bad third at all in that race. Uh, Bravazo and Snapper Sinclair were one two all the way around. Uh, Bravazo finally getting ahead of Snapper Sinclair late. I think Bravazo uh, might be getting good for Lucas. Lucas tends to do that with horses where they, they, they just start getting better. Awesome again. He's a son of awesome again, which makes me think that uh, he still has. Uh, uh, room to improve and, and and maybe go even longer. So Bravazo, I think, beats Snapper Sinclair again in here, Matt. Noble Indy, watch out for him from Pletcher. And then we got to talk a little bit about my boy Jack because DeSormos had some success with these horses that seemed to come out of nowhere. I guess my boy Jack was, was mainly a turf horse last year, but in the Southwest Stakes, that was a pretty impressive uh, performance, albeit in the mud. But that rally and, and with horses like Bravazo and Snapper Sinclair and even Noble Indy, uh, probably all on or near the lead. My boy Jack can throw a, a big one in again. Watch out for him, huh? Yeah, I agree with that, Brian. Uh, the son of Creative Cause um, got a really nice trip up along the rail and, and, and just took off on the sloppy track um, in the southwest at Oak Lawn Park. So there are question marks in there, but you know I, I I like I like what you said there, Brian. That the top three from the Risen Star are going to be up towards the front, and and my boy Jack um, will be closing. We'll see about the dry track and such, and my boy Jack my boy Jack is going to be a good price in there. Maybe. I, I'm not sure how high he'll be. I'm not sure about all four of these. My guess is Snapper Sinclair is the fourth choice of the four. I think these are the clear four favorites as the rest of the field doesn't have a lot as far as credentials yet. Having said that, we've seen plenty of upsets on this 2018 Kentucky Derby Trail. So, uh, you know, there, there are horses in here that could pop up, but these four certainly stand above the field and credentials. I don't have a real strong opinion, folks. Uh, I usually have stronger opinions, but in this one, I, I'm, I'm not so sure. I, I guess if I had to pick one horse, it would be Bravazo. I don't think he'll be the favorite in here, but he could. But favoritism might end up a Noble Indy. I, and I, I think maybe he'll get that. My boy Jack will get that more than, than Matt seems to think. So I'm not sure who's going to get 
favoritism in here, but uh, Bravazo, Bravazo proved to me he was tough in that last one. So I'm going to give him a, a slight edge in, in Saturday's Louisiana Derby. Yeah, I agree. It's a tough one to uh, uh, pick a winner at. You know me, I usually like to go for uh, the Pletcher horses, but uh, I'm going to give the nod to my boy Jack. There you go. Could the race could set up for my boy Jack? He's got some questions though, because turf and then mud, Oakland Park, and now he's going to fairgrounds. We'll we'll see. But if he can throw a similar type of performance in, I, I think he very well may roll by the field in the stretch. 